Greetings. It's me. It's Sharpie Push Potato. And today, let me just uh, zoom out a little bit there. So uh, today, yeah, it's uh, it's Sabota, and it's Saturday. So this is my paladin, Chocodinopus, as you know, level 67. He's doing good. He's able to farm Nightmare fully on his own now, so that's that's cool. So um, that's all good. But the thing is, I would like another character to farm gear with um, a bit better because you know he's good but he's gonna struggle without the gear and i need a character to farm gear and i was thinking a sorceress so i've got uh where is it i think i had a sorceress oh yeah wellsypus um but at the same time i was thinking a bit of man bear pig Man Bear Pig is a druid, and I saw a build that is apparently very good at the moment, and because um, druids got a rework in the uh, current Diablo, so I figured we might give druid a go. Uh, so yeah, maybe let's see how druid is, and yeah, we'll we'll see how that is. So um. We're starting a new game, hardcore, on the ladder, Man Bear Pig. He's going to be a summoning druid, so uh, basically just loads of wolves, loads of bears, uh, spirit and whatnot, so yeah. Let me just make sure the volume is okay. Whack it up to 75, perfect. Okay, let's begin. Well, greetings, stranger. I'm not surprised to see your kind here. Many adventurers have traveled this way since the recent troubles began. Mm. No doubt you've heard about the tragedy that befell the town of Tristram. Some say that Diablo, the Lord of Terror, walks the world again. I don't know if I believe that, but a dark wanderer did travel this route a few weeks ago. He was headed east to the mountain pass guarded by the rogue monastery. Maybe it's nothing, but evil seems to have trailed in his wake. You see, shortly after the Wanderer went through, the monastery's gates to the pass were closed, and strange creatures began ravaging the countryside. Until it's safer outside the camp and the gates are reopened, I'll remain here with my caravan. I hope to leave for Lutgulain before the shadow that fell over Tristram consumes us all. If you're still alive then, I'll take you along. You should talk to Akara, too. She seems to be the leader of this camp. Maybe she can tell you more. Okay, perfect. So that's the intro. I just thought I'd share that because you probably might not have seen that before. Um, so we've got some gear here as well. Uh, this is gear from my, uh, my paladin that I've managed to acquire along the way. Some of it is, you know, is pretty basic gear there's nothing special there but we've uh you know we've got some set gear that will help us along the way so let's uh let's get to it shall we hopefully the volume on the mic is okay i'm actually gonna just turn my microphone down just a tad because um i am akara yeah high priestess of the sisterhood of the sightless eye i welcome you traveler to our camp but I'm afraid I can offer you but poor shelter within these rickety walls. You see, our ancient sisterhood has fallen under a strange curse. The mighty citadel, from which we have guarded the gates to the east for generations, has been corrupted by the evil demoness Andariel. Andariel. There's a great evil in the wilderness. Okay, there is a place of great evil, and it's basically taken up by a shit ton of demons. So we're going to go and help out. We're going to slay those demons. Um, so first things first. Uh, let's see. I need some gold. So let's get some gold from the old stash. Because we've got plenty here. Yeah, I think. Why not? And we'll buy homes. And we'll put these in them. Two, four. So two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
nine, ten, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we'll buy a couple of keys as well. Perfect. Okay, and uh, maybe we'll just buy a couple of stamina potions. We'll put them there. Oh, okay, like that. That will do. Just to get us started, uh, I think I've equipped. Uh, yeah, we've got a blue blue mace, so that will help out a bit. And yeah, let's begin. So. So it begins. As I said, so it begins, so it begins. Oh, got a key straight away, look at that. Okay, so I'm not gonna f bother fighting everything. Because uh, we're gonna level up, hopefully quite fast. So I just want to find the main quest locations. Oh, see so we're already out of stamina, so let's pop one of them. just going to follow the path and it should veer off into two directions at some point unless I've already missed it ah oh, here we go so one of these leads to den of evil here we go perfect so let's let's clear this den of evil evil hearts so as you can see that mace is even helping out straight away helping to just one shot most of these guys. A couple of shots for the big guy. Okay. So it starts off a bit slow, but that's normal. Nothing to worry about. It will pick up once we start summoning all our lovely summons. Just kill these big guys. Come on, if I can hit him. Okay, let's, uh, let's get a skill shape summoning. Let's get the poison creeper first. Just because I only need one point in that, so might as well get that straight away. There we go. Oh, short sword. So that poison creeper. It basically comes up from the ground and it will just like nibble on people. It will nibble away and do a little bit of damage. And yeah. Oh, and some stats. Uh, let's take strength up to 20. Because I know I've got some gear that I need some strength in. I'm just going to go back and check this way because I think there's going to be a small bunch of mobs here. See that? That vine, he'll basically come up from the floor and he'll turn people green. And that just means that he's poisoning them sort of thing. And at this level, he'll probably kill them pretty fast as well. Okay. Take another stamina potion because we're at stamina. Don't know where my vine is. Oh, there he is. Yeah, see, like that. Perfect. Okay. Uh, you'll have to let me know how my microphone is as well, because I turned it up a little bit. And on OBS, it's actually going into the red zone, which I don't know if that's a good thing. I was told I need to keep it in the yellow, but at the same time, Someone also told me that my microphone was a bit quiet in the videos and if I could turn it up a bit. So I've turned it up, but I've limited it so it won't go fully into red. It will only go halfway into red. So hopefully that might help a little bit. Okay. Now we're going to put a skill in Raven. So summon a little Raven who flies around with us and he just pecks at people. Okay, nice. Got some yellow armor straight away. That's good. Got another stamina potion. Put the yellow armor on. Uh, let's take these up. So the Raven does quite a lot of damage. Oh, that was fast. <laughs> Is that all of them? That was all of them, in fact. You are correct. 
so the idea on this character for hardcore is that I don't need to actually engage close combat, similar to the Shockadin, you know, um, Shockadinopus, because with him, it's like I can basically just run around in circles and my electricity will do all the damage or lightning. Whereas this is the same kind of deal, but instead I'll stay near the back and my crows, my wolves, my bear, and my vine, they'll all do the frontline damage. And then I'll get a mercenary as well who will uh, help out. And yeah, that would be good. At the moment, it's going to be difficult because we've only got like two, you know, <laughs> we've got oh, one now. I need to resummon the uh, an image here, the raven. But yeah. But that, to be fair, the ooh, that was a lot of damage. The um, what you call it? The raven and the vine do quite a bit of damage. Like that was a elite mob there, and you can see that you know his his health went down pretty fast. To be fair. It looks like that that vine can like one shot the little ones, which is good as well. There we go. So um, basically, I think everything goes into the summoning tree. To be honest, in this build, so we can have two ravens now. Uh, I'm just going to shove a bit more in vitality at this stage because my health is a bit spiky. I'd rather it not be. Okay, there we go. Because we all that gear that we've got in the bank, we can't equip that straight away. We need to level up a bit first, so that's the that's the goal. Okay, there we go. So just have to keep an eye up here in the top corner, just behind my potato face. Is um, it shows how many ravens I've got on my vine. So at the moment I've got two, but eventually I think I'm not sure if the ravens have a certain amount of attacks or if they just disappear after some time. But basically you just have to make sure to keep an eye on them and resummon them from time to time. Okay, I'm just killing the elite ones, the, uh, the, all the ones that summon them back, and I think my uh, ravens and the claw will take care of the rest, to be honest. That's all good. We'll sell most of this stuff that we're getting. Stony Field, so I actually want to go back and do Blood Raven. Blood, sorry, let me just put myself on walk to get some stamina back. Uh, so Blood Raven is, sorry, one sec, just going to sort this out. Uh, Blood Raven is the the mistress. Uh, she was like a, one of the rogues and she got corrupted after Diablo 1. And she's in the, uh, she's in the graveyard, so we need to go kill her. And when we kill her, we get a a follower for free so we don't have to pay for it basically and that follower can be leveled up and just help us along our journey and you know in this build having another follower is always good because we'll have a vine two ravens and a rogue but uh, I read online again that um, what I want to be aiming for is to get an Act 5 Mercenary, which is the Barbarian Mercenary, which is interesting because I've never had an Act 5 Mercenary, never used them at all in Diablo, like all the years since I played back in the day in probably, gosh, when, when did Diablo 2 come out? Because I, I bought it a year after Diablo 2 came out, so probably like the late 90s, early 2000s probably. I never ever used uh, any other mercenary other than the first three. I never used, there isn't a mercenary in Act 4, but you've got um, the Act 1 one is the rogue, the bow and arrow lady, 
Act 2 is the one that we've got on Chocodinopus, which is the desert mercenary with the auras. Uh, Act 3, you can get like a mage, sorceress kind of geezer. And um, Act 4, there isn't one. And Act 5, you can get a barbarian. And I've never once used the barbarian. I just always assumed they were crap because I never saw anyone else using them. But uh, apparently... Blood Raven. Apparently in this build they're actually good, so yeah, we'll have to check them out. And also, uh, just as a heads up, with this, um, you, you're probably like thinking, oh, why, you know, doing this solo? Why don't you just join lobbies and level up that way? So the way I'm trying to play uh, and gear up is on my own like solo the only exception for gearing is if i'm playing with like a friend like um like earlier today i was playing with brill for example um any gear that drops there i'll obviously take and stuff but i'm trying not to just get given free gear by other people and stuff like that because that kind of ruins the the vibe of it i, I prefer getting my own gear and playing it my own way if that makes sense so that that's the plan you know it might you know maybe here and there like if i'm doing like tomb runs or something i, I might change up a bit and you know i might pick up a piece of gear or something but basically i'm not going to be like begging for gear or i won't have like people join my games and just give me gear and stuff like that because I, I don't want that I want to try and do it myself as best I can. And I'm just going to keep those the same. There we go. Okay, there's Rakamishu. So, he's always a pain in the ass. So, we'll see how my ravens do against him and my vine. Okay, so my vine's dead already. So, let's resummon the vine. I don't want to engage Rakamishu face to face. That's the thing. Because he's already on half health, so that vine does a lot of damage at this stage, and he's dead. Perfect. So we can take the shield as well. So let's drop that. Take the shield. It's a pretty crap shield, but still. Okay. And what we're gonna do is find the waypoint, and then teleport back to town. We will get our um. What you call it? Get our mercenary, our follower. We will then um, put some stuff in the bank, sell some stuff, and and yeah, we'll just see what happens. Gosh, I need some stamina. That's for sure. That's the only thing I hate about starting Diablo with the characters is just stamina is so freaking bad. But we'll get there. Come on, where's that waypoint? So it comes to pass. that the waypoint was right next to the thing okay cool so back in town so let's quickly just sell up our stuff uh sell 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 and keep the key put them in the bank okay let me just quickly because I, I, I need to keep these gems as well because they're used for upgrading runes so i'll need them uh, I don't think there's anything I can use. Oh, there is. I can use some stuff already, so we'll 
it. See, we can attach some blue gear straight away. We can attach some rings and some yellow gloves. So this will like instantly help us. 31, we'll attach that as well. We can give that one to our um, mercenary when we get Nothing there I can attach. Um, personal, no. Okay, cool. Let's get our mercenary. Cool. And we'll give her that armor. We'll just sell this quickly. I don't know why I'm selling such low gear. I could just drop it because it's so freaking cheap. Okay, let's give her this for now. And is there a bow we can buy her or anything to maximum damage? One to five. Ah, we'll, we'll get her a bow along the way. It's fine. I'm not going to waste time choosing a bow. Okay, let's go stone field and let's go on to the next zone. Ah, oh, stamina shrine. That's what we want. Then we're running out of stamina for a bit. And, um, yeah, so now I want to go to the Black Marsh. And we are looking for a scroll. And the scroll will help us um, use those stones in the stony field that we just killed Rakamishu at a minute ago. And um, that will open the portal to Tristram. And once we're in Tristram, then we can go ahead and rescue Deckard Cain. And when we've got Deku Kane, he will identify all the items for us. And he will set us along the path so we can carry on on our journey. Okay, so far this build is nice and feels safe, you know? Not much engagement from my end sort of thing. Just need to keep the ravens up and they do most of the work for me to be honest. Okay, underground passage level two, so the other way. Because we don't want to go to underground passage level two. We want to go to Black Marsh. Or no, Dark Dark Woods, sorry, not Black Marsh. Okay, just gonna back off from those geezers a little bit, because they can hurt. Okay, new skill. I can get a wolf straight away. Should I get a wolf or a spirit? Increases life. Uh, let's get a wolf first, then we'll get the spirit. So, one wolf, three ravens. Perfect. Okay. And we'll put in. I just like getting the strength and life up to the same amount as my life. Okay, so now we've got a wolf there as well, as you can see. So, got a nice little group of people here. And that's what it looks like in the olden days. And that's today. Okay, so I think I need to head south. Somewhere down here, probably. Again, I'm not going to try and engage all the people. Just going to sort of try and speed through this bit a bit. Oh, we've got the stamina potion active. That's where we want. Ah, 
that waypoint straight away. That's another thing that we want. Lovely. And the thing is, I might actually... Oh, there's a wolf head there. Look at that. So the wolf heads are for druids only. And that one's crap. It doesn't have anything special about it. But usually they come with like... Uh, druid specific skills on them so you might get like you know plus one to summon wolf or something like that that's a good idea to look out for those i've got a few in my bank but i can't wear them just yet okay so we're looking for the big tree with the scroll and the scroll will teach us the pattern of the stones Three summon my ravens. Okay, not that way. them over experienced shrines to be honest because at this level they really help out probably the tree will be down here i think just got a feeling oh, no be down here come on gotta be down south or east whatever you call this Here it is. Okay. So there's a boss here. And they can actually hurt at this level. So you got to summon the ravens. Let them do a bit. Give our follower a bit of health. She's getting a bit wrecked. Okay, here we go. Should be alright. Perfect. There we go. So the wolf did all the hard work there for us. Okay, so that's the scroll. Um, let's go back to Kara. Check here again, just in case. Okay, I can attach some boots now as well. So every now and then it's just good to go here and just check if you can equip anything new from all the gear that we've got saved. got another skill so we'll put the oak sage now as well so i'm going to do f1 f2 f3 and f4 so there we go and that geezer there that i've just summoned um that like weird floaty thing here that looks like a kind of jellyfish uh that's a oak sage and uh that increases i believe health and defense maybe not not 100 basically it helps keep me alive that's all you need to know okay so what we'll do here is once we've unlocked this we can actually go we'll, we'll rinse and repeat this a few times until we level up because this is a really good place to just get levels nice and fast so i'll basically i'll make some games like I'll start making games to just speed run this place with other people and they can join if they want summon the ravens let's get a second wolf as well 
I've got two wolves now. Get our spirit back. Get some more life in us as well. I'm gonna kill this guy because he's resurrecting everyone. should die now. We summon our crows. This is quite a good build to be honest because it, it's very similar to the necromancer build to be honest but i've got a feeling that it feels a bit stronger a bit earlier on like i think the wolves are very much stronger than the old uh, skeletons and you know you've got that oak sage as well so you've got like the extra life and stuff so i think it's just generally a better early build I don't know about late build, Edgar but Kane, still. Leave this place. Decker Kane, leave this place. But yeah, basically, we'll once we've gone back and just spoken to Kane, we'll rerun this a few times. And that's good. So we can do it now. In fact, so let's go. Let's join the lobby, just to see if there's any up already. So there's already a Tristram run, so we'll, we'll actually join this. So there's already one going. If there's a teleport or not. Oh, a bit of lag there. Not enough mana. Someone just said in chat, man bear pig is real. <laughs> so I'm glad people got the reference. Man bear pig is a uh, South Park reference for anyone wondering. It's uh, quite funny. It's basically Al Gore uh, believes that there's this mythical creature called man bear pig and nobody believes him. But yeah, I, I won't spoil it for you, but you should definitely watch and uh, learn about man bear pig okay get our wolves out so we can have three wolves now but yeah it's one of those builds where pretty much I won't have to do much myself but my pets will do everything for me. But, you know, I'm okay with that. Okay, I think that's it. So someone should now make a new game. Hopefully. It's called Trist Runs with two Zs. So it'll be zero one in. NG. Trist runs. Trist runs. Maybe like that. I want already made the game. Perfect. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck in the middle. There we go. Okay, let's summon. Not enough mana. There we go. Got our little trio wolf pet. Can't 
Is any new stuff there? Any stuff here? And, oh, I can use a ring. Magic find. There's not much point having magic find at this level. I can take that small charm though. It just gives me extra fire damage, which I don't really need on this character. <coughs> because, um, I feel sorceress. Okay, sorceress is looking for it. Um, I've got a lot of charms in my inventory that just have extra damage, which is good at low level if you're hitting stuff. It's not needed for this character because I'm not hitting anything really, or I won't be, because my wolves and everything will do the damage, and I don't think, um, I don't think the damage goes to the wolves, I'm not sure. I might be wrong. I'll have to actually read up on it. Because, frankly, I ain't got a clue. Okay, here we go. Tristram. In we go. can help hit this world. Oops. Click the wrong button there. Okay, so we've got wolves. Um, I think it's probably better to max wolves first, to be honest. Because we can get a fourth wolf as well. We'll go ahead and put a bit more into life. Okay, so number 11. There we go. So this probably isn't the most fun thing to watch, to be honest, because it's literally just me running Tristram over and over again, but we'll do this until that level, I think it's 16, you do it, and we're 9 at the moment, but still, it's good, good to level up nice and fast. Oh, we've got other boots we can wear, let's see. They want enhanced defense, heal stamina plus 25, poison resist 7. Might as well put these on, they've got magic bind. Put them back in. Put these in the shared one. Okay. Oops. We can sell that ring. Good day. Oh shit, here we go again. And with the rune rep words and stuff for this character, honestly, I don't know what to use. I'll have to actually, after I finish recording the video, I'll have to read up on like what I should be equipping for this character and stuff. Okay. Another druid. Oh, we can get another wolf. God, I, I can't remember how many wolves you can have. I thought it was three, but it seems that I can have five at the moment. So that's pretty cool. Maybe five is the total. Can't remember. It's been so long since I played. Hey, okay, new game again. Number twelve. Greetings. Okay, there we go. Full party. 
Sí. Um, elemental point shape shifting technique. So I'm just reading up on how to distribute the skills and what to max first. So they said like ravens are good, like the ravens are really good for like taking out characters or enemies fast because it's like pinpointed damage and you can easily resummon them. Uh, two synergies, dire wolf, carrion vine. So they said that it might be worth actually maxing out ravens first just for the direct damage that they do because it's quite high so i think that's fine now that we've got like five wolves we can just max out the ravens and let them do the, the work Swedish or Danish? A Scandi language. Don't know if that means that he's making another one or if he's done. Might mean he's done. I might make 13 then in that case. I think that that was the sorceress saying that he's done, so. Not a problem. We can go and search for it if needed. Good day. Oops, wrong one. Stanfield, here we go. Just looking for a, there it is, teleport on the map. I love the music of Diablo, it's so good. And I feel like in games nowadays they don't have that same music that just, you know, that sticks with you so much. Like, all the music that I remember from games is always from like old games. I don't know what it is, but you know. I don't know if it's just like, you know, when you're younger, maybe it sticks with you more. Like, you know, same with like learning when you're younger, it's a lot easier and stuff sticks with you a lot more when you're younger. But yeah, hard, hard to say. Or is it just it was better back then, you know? Tough. Tough to say.
making the games now. Look at me, I am the one who makes the games now. Not enough mana. Need to get my army up first though. So they kill it nice and fast to be honest my my guys my guys Ah yes ruins the fate of all cities I need a bow and a hat for her as well, don't I? My follower, I forgot. We'll get her something. When I see something drop. Just to give her a bit of extra damage. What was it? Ah, oh, I missed out on that ring. Shame. Would have probably been useful. I should have oh, we've got a helmet there. Perfect. Actually, tell you what, let's give her that. I don't know if I can give her crossbows, but We'll just wait and see. and fast these runs that's what I like about them just like uh, it's it, to be honest it's not boring either like you know I thought this kind of thing would be boring just to sort of you know do the same thing over and over but it's actually not too bad it's I think since you're playing with other people like if you're doing it on your own probably you know not as exciting but yeah you know, when you're doing it with others it's not too bad to be fair sword might be better than our club that we're using. So having um, the ranger, like the rogue, with the bow and arrow isn't such a bad thing at this level because the wolves uh, people the aggro on them so she can just 
snipe from a distance sort of thing. So, it's not too bad at all. Uh, 16. Whereas in the later game, I think you need uh, like a well-geared uh, mercenary to sort of, you know, take the pressure off a bit. And just so you know, the reason I keep going over to her to summon all my stuff is when you speak to her, she restores all your mana for you. So, yeah, it's like, just means you can summon everything nice and fast without using potions. Okay, looking for the path. Because usually the stones are on the path. So it's always a good idea to just to find the path and walk along it like here. And then you should be able to spot the yellow portal on the map as you're walking along the road. Hopefully. Ah, here we go. Ruins the fate of all cities. to double check what level is good. Okay, so you can get carrying by now. I think carrying vine is better than the other one. I need mana. I need mana. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, mana. three, four, five. Ruins, the 
fate of all cities. Put a socket in that to give it extra damage or something. to 15 it says you can go 15 should be like the max not enough mana How does that compare? 3 to 7 to 7, 10 increase attack speed, 17, 1 cold damage, 7 poison. I will keep the other one. Ah, uh, yes. Ah, uh, yes. Fate of all cities. I think the next character I make will probably be a sorceress or Amazon, just because they were my favourite back in the the day of Diablo. Ubichi. I really enjoyed them, even though they were quite difficult on hardcore unless you had the gear. Oh my god! Too slow. level uh, here and then we're good to move on on our own
Okay, it's the last game. Number 19. Attach that helm as well. Do that ring later. I can even put that belt on. Angelic gloves. Why not? That'll do. Perfect. Okay, so we've got a bit of a different look going on now. I need mana. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Same field. Got a feeling it's the other way. A spammer in our game. Haven't seen one of them since back in the day. for this one and then we're done. said that's the last game for me and good luck have fun so now we'll go back to our own game now that we've leveled that up and uh, we'll progress onwards so first of all I just want to have a look um, had anything I could sock it. I was hoping that I'd have like a ruby for her gear, but I don't have one, which is a shame for her bow. But not to worry. Um, we can give that to her as well. Let's uh, let's put these gems in. And I think I'm also going to put all these uh, charms in as well because I don't need all this extra damage on this character that can sell or if that can sell I believe Hello. okay so sell 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 So now we're looking for the black marsh. So we just follow the road here. So they do a fair bit of damage on their own, which is nice. Okay, 
yes, they're in the Black Marsh now. So there is a quest in the Black Marsh to kill the Countess, but I'm not going to bother doing that. We're just going to try and rush to Andariel and complete this uh, this act. Oh, I just kill everything along the way, might as well, with all our lovely animals. To the next zone, Ammo Highland. Like, this is a really strong build early on, to be honest. Like, I'm not really doing anything at all. Like, you know, my animals just do everything for me, but they're pretty fast at actually killing stuff as well. Which is nice. That means we can speed through this a bit. Hopefully they will keep up with that uh, amount of damage as well. Going forward, let's just check these bows out. Five life pills. Let's give it that one. I'll put that to good use. Get rid of that. That socket one would have been good if we'd had a good socket to go in it, but we don't really. But we can get maybe an Act 2 mercenary. when we get to act two. And charm, let's take it just in case. Okay, so this should the I don't think it's there I go is it where was that one second pit hmm someone said the pit was really good for farming like magic find I saw a YouTube video pop up it said the pit like best magic find it came out like three days ago as well the video so I'll have to check that out because I've never ever found the pit it was always Mephisto Pindle and uh what else what was the other good farming spots cows cows was good ah right, here we go mono straight deck this is where we want to be for the armory slash blacksmith. Ah, oh, the barracks, that's the one. Just 
curious, what does that helm give me? Two fell rage, that's not the best helm. It's giving me two for an item that I don't, for a spell that I can't use because I'm not a shape-shifting druid. But still, not a prop. That's where we want to go. There's also a quest in this place to kill the blacksmith, so we'll do that as well while we're in here. sides there. Let's just go back a second. Ah, here he is. That's E old blacksmith. Let's go back to the jail. Let's kill those as well, because they're elites. There we go. of nature. through this place. Which might be easier said than done. We'll ju I'll just stop to kill like elites and champions along the way because they give nice chunks of experience. this way. Wait, let me have a look on the map because that can't be right. Uh, oh, it's probably up there. Back up we go. Hmm, my eyes are a bit itchy. Not the 
this one, next one. And up here and left. Yeah, here we go. Go level two. sure I'm good at going the wrong way. Oh, here we go. This is where we want. Uh, this is the next bit just before we go to the cathedral basically I'll go I'll kill Andariel and then we'll probably end the stream on act 2 I think that'll be a good amount a boss here, usually a skeleton. There he is, Bone Ash. Whoa, he went down fast. His uh, ravens do a lot of damage. Is a little annoying things. Okay, got another skill. Let's do another raven, I guess. We can still only have five, but they do a bit more damage now. Here we go, level two. And we need the third level for Andario.
got an amulet. Oh, we have. What's this one got in it? 17 attack rating, one to make some damage. Here we go, level 3. Oh, is it level 4 for Andario? I think it is. Also, I need to get the waypoint here as well before I go down. There should be a waypoint on this level. Let's go back and find that real quick. Must be this way. and fast. As always, I've gone the completely wrong way. Clean this up quickly. Ooh, look, got a unique item there. Probably necromancer. Actually, it's better than I've got, so we'll keep that. Here we go. Do Andario. they can take it down quite fast like her health drops really fast to be fair and she's dead that was pretty good going if I do say so your reign is over On a tear ring, why not? Ooh. 
Okay, and there we go. There. This is a great picture indeed. Let's go east. There we go. That was Act 1. Done in just over an hour. In half, an hour and a half. Could have been faster, but... You know. We did the... I know. We did it by ourselves, which took a little bit longer, so it's not too bad. Uh, 22 to attack rating, that one's actually better. Okay. 17, that one, 41 to attack. That. Oh, what strength. Okay. Anything more we can use oh we've got another weapon there we can use that put that one in there put those in put this rune in here put that there as well no I don't need that what about this four life stolen per hit no I think that's everything. Oh, one to summoning skills. There we go. Perfect. That's what we want. So this should now give us level two of that. Uh, let's go level six. Two. Yeah. My class down five. Perfect. Okay. That's a good start, to be honest. We've done a good amount. Um, I'm just wondering... What I'll probably do is get a Act 2 Mercenary as well. Because I feel that sh that'll be better. And uh, I'll ditch her, so let's... Um, go to the stash and we'll take her gear away. But that actually we don't need to take it away we'll just do this and uh let's have a look at what ones we can get i can't remember higher you can defiance which is defense blessed increases attack rating that could be good and prayer regenerates life blessed aim so this one let's get chalan I think that's the name of the other geezer that we got. Okay, let's give him this. Is that 15 poison damage? We can keep that in the inventory. Stash. Okay, perfect. I don't think he can use that yet. I have got some of these required strength 38 can he use that already i'll put that oh he can okay that's a big big win so that'll give him a lot of damage so that mercenary should be super good um tell you what let's do the first quest of here just to get radamant out of the way as well and to test that new mercenary just before we go to bed down into the sewers. Let's just see how our pets do down here. Seems alright. There's a boss there. Let's see how they do. Tip down nice and fast, all good. Ah, uh, okay, so it's the other way down. So probably it will be right. But we'll try this way. Okay. 
bet the other way. Nope. I got baited. Did you bait it? Is level two. That's nice and fast. See how they handle the bus. And there he goes, nice and fast. Perfect. Look at skill, Roderick. Radiant. Return to dust. Return to dust. Okay, nice. And that was that. So, uh, yeah, that will be it for today's uh, game, I believe. So thank you very much for watching. And, uh, yeah, I will see you next time, either on... Shockadinopus or Man Bear Pig, depending on what we need. Uh, we can maybe try and get some 
uh, upgraded gear for Man Bear Pig. Um, I believe that I might have some other gear on these characters just sitting around that I can give him, so we'll take a look. But either way, thank you very much for watching. I've been Sharpie Puss Potato, you've been new. It's time for bed. Good night, everyone. Good night.